Okay, I'll get started on part two. Um, so far I've assembled this winch assembly and uh, put the new long cables on. I'll show you where they run to. Just had to feed that inside the spool. There's a little recessed plug that comes out. You drop the cable in it with a pressed end. It goes inside the hole and then you'll just put the cap back in and it holds it in place. And then we just started to crank it to position the cable. And then we, once it started to line up, then we just left it at that. The new cable we put on this side is broken there. Runs over the back. Through that. Outside there. And there's a pulley on the outside. The cable runs up the pulley and into the sliders on the inside and I'll show you how the cable attaches in there as far as the cable the new cable on the front one side was okay the left side driver's side we run a new cable up and then we added a uh, new end and put it in that side of the turnbuckle like they had it. And then on the other end we did a loop with the swedge, run it up. Through the front pulley and then it goes back to the left through all the holes there up inside you can see it runs through there and then into this pulley and then at this point it goes back up inside the camper into the sliders and I'll show you on the inside on this one also. Okay, so the first pulley they come from the bottom of the main winch. They'll come up through the bottom section over the pulley and then they terminate right there. Then you have a secondary cable It starts on the back of the slider. It runs up through the second section into the mid pulley and then terminates right there on the sidewall. There's no actual cable in the top section. It just goes up and attaches for the lift point. So we replaced uh, the long cabling on this back corner and then we put the secondary, the shorter cable on this one. On the front side we did the long cable underneath then we branched off over and up. That was one continuous, well, two pieces of cable. And then we did the third piece, which is that shorter section that goes in the middle of the channel. On the front right passenger side, if you're pulling it, we were okay on the long cable, but the top cable looked like it had been 
abused so we put a new section in it also just to be safe so I can show you that okay this would be the front left or driver's side if you're pulling it so same thing that's a two new cables coming up through here the first one goes straight up over the first pulley and terminates um, the second one the smaller one goes from the base up through the first section into the second section and again terminates after it rolls over that pulley the top section there's nothing in it just goes up and attaches to the top and uh, that's just the main lift support at the very top so that's been replaced and we did the same thing on the on the passenger front so we're good on cables now everything's uh, adjusted I'm just gonna lower it and make sure everything winds back up the way it's supposed to then we'll check the cables one more time check everything else and then we'll just roll it back up a couple more times and make sure everything's functioning properly. This is the section where the existing fasteners had pulled through the camper. Um, I just took some eighth inch by two aluminum and Drill some new holes and put those on the corners. I can show you on the inside what it looks like also. So look on the inside with the new fasteners. So now you have the aluminum plate on the outside with a bolt comes through the top structure. And it goes through the existing mounting plate for the risers or the lift system. And then it sandwiches that all together and holds it. It all seemed to go together pretty good. It sure stiffened it up a lot. And even on the good side, I went ahead and put a plate on it just in case. That way they all match. And those bolts were starting to push through. They probably had some more life in them, but better to take care of it now rather than have it fail when you're out camping. So that part's done also. Okay, at this point, I think all the cabling looks fine. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up in that corner and then install the wardrobe cabinet, cabinet, put it back in, and get all this put back together. And then we'll move to the front, put the battery and everything back in, um, put all the screws back in the top of the access panels. And I think we'll be ready to lower it. Put our slides in and we'll lower it down and see how it functions and go from there
Okay, well, she folded up okay. Everything went down. Everything seems to buckle. There's one buckle on the corner, the outside corner on the back side that it's not going down all the way, but I don't want to adjust those and pull up a lot of tension on them until I tie this front and back back in here. Just this buckle right here. The trim's sticking out far enough that it, it's going to interfere with that. But. So I guess the next plan is pull this skin off on the front and the back and see if I need to replace some wood in there or just refasten it, put the trim back on it, and uh, go from there. We did get the battery vent put back on there. I just have to get, I'm gonna buy a new hose for the inside and attach it, and that'll be ready to go. So I'll set this back up time-lapse and I'll unclamp it and we'll run it back up and back down again just to make sure that everything's good on the pulleys and we're not having no issues we'll go from there These are the ends that we used on the cabling system. We used an eighth inch ferrule and a 332 ferrule and stop set. We just bought these both at Home Depot. Okay, now that we have the cables repaired, I'm gonna start in on this top and give it a once over. Um, we're going to peel back the tin on the front and the back and replace this wood. I'm pretty sure it's all shot. So we'll get that peeled back and see what has to happen there. And when we get done with that, the top main seam in the center looks like it's due to be resealed. So we'll go ahead and Get all that old caulking out of there and finish it up. The sides, I think, just need to be tucked back in. I'll check and see if the wood is damaged under there. If it is, we'll replace it. If not, we'll just reattach the trim. But this front piece is, the wood is just all rotten. So we'll go ahead and peel this all up, take that piece out, lay it out, cut a new one, and get it all put in there also. And then we'll probably just put a new coat of sealant on the entire roof after we recalk the center. So we'll set up and go from there.
Okay, so we have the top finished on the back end of the trailer. To go to do this, what you have to do is take out all the side screws on both sides for the trim. It's under that plastic cover. Then on the bottom, there's a set of screws all along the bottom of the trim that go up into that board. You have to remove those. This at one time had been stapled, probably factory I'd imagine. You can see the old rusty staples all along there that eventually just failed when the wood deteriorated. And then on the inside, there's another set of screws that go into the wood that hold the little slider for the curtain material. And then there's two larger ones that go behind this piece of trim here. You get most everything from the outside, but you do have to go on the inside to remove some of the fasteners and screws. But once we peeled it back, we just cut a new board. Uh, I think I believe we cut it at seven inches and then tapered the top so that it would round. I just ground that radius on the top and put it back in there. Um, reattached the fasteners from the bottom and the sides and then restapled the skin along the bottom. And I think it's ready to go. On this side, I did add a few more extra screws from this piece of trim in just to kind of hold it in place. I don't know if this corner's been damaged at some point, but that seemed to help it quite a bit. So now I'm going to move to the front and do the same thing, and then get the roof sealed. We should be finished, I hope. Okay guys, here we go. The back's all tucked back in. Put a new piece of wood in it. Did the front, it's all ready to go. Now we're just gonna go along and clean these seams up. I've cleaned the top edge, outside edges, and then the bottom edge along the side. Pretty easy, just take your scraper and just go right along the edge. Just don't dig in too much. Come back and usually it'll rip right up. It's nice and clean. I won't bore you with all of that, but I'm gonna do the center straight seam here. And then we're gonna go over it with some of this lap sealant. And before I do that, I'm gonna clean the entire roof with the TSP and uh, get it all pretty much etched and ready to go. Then we'll do the seams. Once that's dried, I'm gonna go back over the entire thing and put a nice white um, top coat on it and seal it, and that should be the end of it. So I'll set this up on time lapse and let you watch the center seam. Okay, the sides all seam sealed. In the back. Run some down the center. 
run it along this edge here. And then the front. So now we're just getting ready. It's all been cleaned before we applied that. Now we're going to roll the sealer on the top and we're going to roll it over the front and the back and call it. I was going to do the sides, but it's going to turn out it's going to be way too white for the sides. I think it'll be okay on the top. So we'll set this up and uh, do a time lapse on that. Okay, welcome back. We finally managed to get the roof all sealed up. I've had quite a bit of weather here lately, so if it wasn't windy, I blowing stuff into it, it was raining off and on, so I had to kind of do it in stages, but I ended up getting uh, three coats on the, all the edges. So one coat of seam sealer, actual caulking along the edge and the center seam and everything else. And we ran around like we showed on the time lapse and brushed in the edges. And then another coat and rolled the center, but you can see how nice it's beading up on there. So it should last a long time. But Pretty sure this is the end of this project. I might do a few more things inside, but for the most part, that's gonna be it. If I do anything else that's major on it, I will show it, but other than that, we'll kick this one down the road and start in on the next one. Should have the next project coming up within the week.